to the Recon Trader. Today I am going to show you how our Coinbase Pro paper trading bot performed over the recent sell-off in the Bitcoin world. In addition to, I'm going to show you a few tweaks that will improve the performance over the long run for this uh, automated trading bot. So let's start with actually how did it perform during the most recent sell-off and don't be misled by this figure here. The reality is this account started with $1,000 in it, paper trading, not real money, paper trading, and we're down about $20, which in the scheme of things, a 2% loss is not terrible considering the market sold off far greater than the 2% loss we ended up taking. And we owe that all to our stop loss. You got it. You got to have stop losses if you're going to be trading. Let's take a look at all the trade history that happened over the last few days. Again, overall, it was pretty much a red market. We're finally seeing a bounce back today. But you can see these losses. We kept them for the most part under 1%. We had a couple go over, but for the most part, they were all under 1%. My stop loss was currently set at 0.49%. And the reason these numbers are higher is you don't always get stopped out the minute the order goes in. So... That is why we might see higher numbers, or you might actually see higher numbers when you place a stop order and it exceeds the number you had. It may not stop out right at your number. It may go higher. Sometimes it'll go lower. It'll pull back after your order goes in. And as we continue down through the page, very few winners, yet there were some winners during the bloodbath, but most of all, it was red. We were in the red. It was absolute carnage. Everything was getting slaughtered, but we kept that to a minimum. We kept our losses to a minimum, and that is the key to successful trading. And we even had a decent win here on EOS, a big 8%er, which again helps uh, mitigate some of those losses. But overall, during this time frame, you know, from the 12th through pretty much like the 17th, for about a five day period, it was just pretty much a down market. And we can see that. But by keeping our losses small, we weathered the storm. And if this had been real money versus paper money, I would still be able to find targets and take some shots because I still have a bankroll left behind me. Now let's look at some adjustments that we're gonna make under the configuration to improve the performance of this uh, bot and the key is paper trading until this is profitable and successful I'm not going to deploy it let's take a look over at the base configuration where I plan on changing my actual strategy under advanced multiple TA settings and the biggest thing I'm going to change right now the first change I'm going to make is the candle size under five minutes i knew that was going to be a very volatile time frame i did not realize it was going to be as volatile as it ended up being but i was well aware that a five minute time frame is extremely volatile so i'm going to change this to the four hour time frame which is basically going from one extreme to the other but there's a reason for that i'm going to cut out a lot of the volatility we're in a very volatile market at the moment I'm going to leave all my other settings the same, enable RSI and Bollinger Bands. My RSI period is going to be nine. I think I have those numbers dialed in, oversold threshold of 20. It was actually performing the buys like I wanted. It was just, the market was just dropping. And when the bottom's dropping out of the market, there's not a whole lot you can do except for get out of the way, which again, with our 0.49 stop loss, we did, we got out of the way. So the RSI nine, 20 oversold threshold, 90 overbought, Bollinger Bands pretty much at the default, 22 and 2. If you wanted to eliminate even more volatility, you could change this to 2.5 and 2.5, and which would expand the range of the Bollinger Bands. And then we're going with the Bollinger Band moving average type EMA. Again, overall with these settings, I was happy. It was just the volatility with the 5 minute time frame. If we look at the trailing stop buy, I was actually waiting for the downwards movement to move back in the upwards movement, and I was looking for half a percent. 
obviously they moved up a half a percent but then proceeded to fall again so that worked as i planned the problem is the market just completely crashed with the coronavirus and all the other news it just was too much for the market to bear my sell settings are disregarded because i actually sell on trailing stop losses but they're set at 1.9 uh, market orders is what i go with maximum sell time is four minutes I don't sell based on my strategy stop loss probably the most important setting that saved me from absolute destruction and that was enabled at 0.49 percent I'm willing to give up half a percent consider taking this lower at this time I'm going to stick with the 0.49 percent now if I take it too low I may not give enough room for the market to move without stopping me out immediately i think half a percent is enough at this point but i will revisit that and then my trailing stop loss this is how i'm going to take my profit and i want it to arm at 1.99 percent which essentially two percent is a four to one ratio and once it has armed at the two percent profit i want to give it room obviously to keep going up but if it starts to pull back, I want out after it's pulled back almost half a percent. But if it only pulls back a quarter percent and then resumes movement upwards, uh, we will follow it up until we get a full half a percent pullback. Don't do any auto close. We're not doing short sales and we're not dollar cost averaging. And the next item I want to show you is what coins I'm going to actually allow this to trade. Now I had all 17 coins before available on the Coinbase Pro Exchange, but I'm gonna eliminate a few of these coins. And that's because I did some back testing. And I will show you the back testing here in a moment, but I wanna show you, I did some back testing on some of the coins and at the four hour level, some performed well and some performed poorly. I'm only gonna include the ones that performed well or might have been marginal and we'll take a shot on them and so i'm going to get rid of okay and besides stellar i'm getting rid of btc adam rep bch and oxt the performance of these six coins was substandard on the four hour timetable when i did the back testing therefore i don't want them included in the simulation paper trading bot the, so basically the two adjustments I made was I went from five minutes to the four hour candles and I removed six coins from my allowed coins as they were under performers. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And yes, continue saving. And when we jump back over to the dashboard, I'm going to enable the hopper and it will start looking for targets again. Once it finds a target, it will start executing trades. And just so you have an idea of what kind of back testing I did, I jump over here to the back testing tab that Crypto Hopper offers, and we'll take a look at like EOS, for example, and we'll load my existing configuration as it is now, which is four hour time frame. Hit the start back test. And we'll see EOS, even during that big sell-off, which actually occurred here from about the 12th to the 13th, ends up having two wins, three losses, but still ended up being profitable because of that big win and smaller losses. And I do question the size of these losses, whether they'll be that big or not, because remember in paper trading, you don't know if you're going to get in and out based on what the paper trading shows you because live trading is its own creature and your orders may not be executed as quickly or as slowly as the paper trading bot thinks they would be. And we'll take a look at another back test. We'll do ETC. Hit the start back test. And we can see that it had three wins, two losses, with the maximum profit of 5%. Again, some big winners and a small loser. I think our win percentage might actually be a lot higher on ETC. But that's why we do paper trading, so we can see if we are correct. And if we are correct, 
then we'll go ahead and deploy this into the live bot and jump back over to the dashboard. I think that pretty much does it. I just wanted to give you an update on how the Coinbase Pro bot performed during the most recent uh, bloodbath that happened in crypto and that it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Uh, took a small loss in the paper trading world and made a couple adjustments and if you'd like to see how this new configuration is working for this coinbase pro trading bot be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button i'll have a new video in the next few days and there'll be some new videos as well as setting up bots on kraken binance us and a whole lot of other good stuff. So until then, never send your money into battle without first doing recon. See ya.